watching this right now, that means that the one train is delayed. We've done everything in our power to deal with this rat thing, but the train is still delayed. But don't worry, you're in safe hands until they're done spraying the tracks down. Now, just don't worry about it. Ignore all the smells, any frightening noises you might be hearing. Just try to relax. Uh, we know that it's at a frequency too high for you to hear, but believe me, the rats will be laughing along with you. <laughs> and when I, I looked up, I knew that that shadow thing that has been terrorizing me my, my whole life was the cause of everything awful that that's ever happened to me. It just had such a a malicious, malicious energy, and, and I feel like it was looking at me and telling me that it was the cause of my, my, my mother's death and my, my abdominal issues, and <laughs> I feel like it wouldn't even want me to be having this conversation with you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry to stop us, What's but that? it's just, Maddie, it doesn't seem like you believe Laura right now. Oh, no, no, I believe her. I believe that she believes this, but y you don't believe it. I didn't say that exactly. Well, <laughs> I believe her. I mean, I think it's perfectly plausible given everything she's been through. Yeah, but I mean, that's not the only explanation. Well, h how will you explain my, my health conditions and, and my mother? I mean, <laughs> She died right before this happened. Isn't that, isn't that a little strange? Right, I mean, I, I can only imagine the stress that you were under when that happened. I mean, she died when you were such a young age. Okay, wow. You really gonna take that angle, Maddie? Come on. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, wait, well, what are you implying? What, that, that I made it up? For what? I mean, no, I'm just saying that I think that it's possible that there could be other explanations. Listen, um, if we could save this for after the story's done, no, we really no, 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 no. I want to hear what she has to say. She clearly has some big opinion she wants to share with us. You're the expert, so yeah, go ahead. I mean, I'm not claiming to be an expert. All I'm saying is that I think it's possible that maybe this boils down to stress. Oh, you sound like every idiot in a horror movie. But this <laughs> isn't a horror movie. I mean, this is Laura's life we're talking about. Oh my god. It's, it's here. Don't be ridiculous. I heard that too. I'm sure it was nothing. There's a lot of equipment in the room. No, no, I, I know that sound. We gotta get out of here. We, we gotta get out of here. Come on, Laura. No, no, no. <laughs> Grande released a music video in which she kisses another woman, sparking debate over whether the singer was queer baiting her audience. In a statement to the press, Grande assured her fans that this is just a classic case of gals being pals. A new report showed that 60% of Trump's schedule is dedicated to executive time. Security footage reveals that this time is dedicated to dancing in a risky business-like sequence to Kanye West's gold digger. Gucci apologized after backlash over a sweater that resembled blackface, calling it a powerful learning moment. Their next learning moment will be dropping this spring in the form of a pointy white hoodie. A Florida politician was forced to resign after it became known that she made a habit out of licking men's faces. Can you really blame her, though? Because men's tears are delicious. Get ready, folks, because a new emoji will be hitting your keyboard. Apple says they are releasing a period emoji that will look like three blood droplets. This is especially good news for me because it means that I won't have to keep using the stick of dynamite emoji every time I just really need to say bloody tampon. At the London Zoo, a tiger mauled its prospective mate, squelching conservation efforts for the species. At press time, the tiger stated that she only wants to marry for love. 
So romantic. Happy Valentine's Day. Our musical guest tonight has an upcoming performance in Manhattan at the City Winery on Thursday the 21st at 7.30 p.m. Her new EP, Be There, is available on Spotify as well as all other digital platforms and vinyl. You can find all this info and more on Denisha.com. Please welcome Denisha. a small town life to say you tried your way you did it for yourself and if it's the only thing left on the shelf you'll be glad to say you did it for yourself I did a little dance like you got Welcome to Fox News. Freshman Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has been involved in numerous scandals since she was assumed in office just months ago. That's why today we're bringing you our newest segment, Ocasio-Cortez Watch. Here with us is political commentator Helen Barker. Thanks for being here, Helen. Thank you for having me. I'm very afraid and I'm going to be sharing my insights. <laughs> well, uh, let's get right into it then. Last week, a video of Ocasio-Cortez suggestively dancing on a rooftop was revealed to the audience. I mean, what do you think about that? I mean, it just doesn't seem like she's capable of taking anything seriously, let alone governing our nation. I mean, she's such a free spirit. <laughs> yeah, can, 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 I just, can I just, can I just say something? Yeah. I don't like how happy she seems. Mm. That's a really good point, you know. Um, I mean, would someone who's really struggling to make ends meet be that happy? Just. Yeah. 
radiantly glowing? I mean, I haven't been that happy in years. We're getting some breaking news. It appears that images of the congresswoman have surfaced that show her doing a keg stand at a Boston University party. Okay, this alleged keg stand lasted uh, 47 seconds. Oh my god. Well, I just have to emphasize again, is this behavior that we're willing to accept from a member of our Congress? I mean, maybe from a best friend, <laughs> confidant. And we can't forget, she was a bartender. I mean, there's a pattern here. You know, I bet she makes some mean martinis. I, I, I feel like she's acting more like a party girl rather than a Congress woman. <laughs> oh, we're getting an update on Keggate. Um, it appears that the alleged keg stand only lasted 17 seconds. I mean, that's just not very impressive. I mean, like, it's still kind of cool. Like, you know, she's one of the guys. Another breaking Ocasio-Cortez story. It appears that a pornographic film has surfaced starring Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. <laughs> I mean, that is unacceptable. Could somebody send me that link right now? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, just a correction on that. Um, the pornographic film in question does not star freshman congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, but rather adult film star Tasty Max. Well, the, the, the fact that it seems plausible is frankly, is, is damning. I mean, you are so right. I mean, because she is pretty enough that she could do porn. <laughs> um, Helen, do you have a crush on Ocasio-Cortez? <laughs> what? No, I mean, she is a disgrace to the American people. But have you seen how shiny her hair is? <sighs> OK, uh, we're going to cut to commercial break. Uh, when we get back, we will be talking about Ocasio-Cortez's lipstick. Is it too slutty? <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. Absolutely. He's giving her the rose. <laughs> She's clearly gay, dude. No straight girl wears a blazer on her bachelor date, Tim. Hey, how did everything go? Did they get to sleep okay? I know Bella can give the nanny a hard time sometimes. No, no, they were fine. After I read her her bedtime story, she was out like a light. I mean, Bruno Jr.? Practically an angel. So it... It went well, nothing crazy, nothing to report. Yeah, I mean, they're funny kids. They definitely have big imaginations. <laughs> what do you mean? No, nothing, just like <laughs> Bella and I were drawing pictures together earlier and she drew this like really elaborate map and when I asked her what it was, she was like, it's a map of our escape tunnels for when the bad guys come to take mommy and daddy. <sighs> Jesus. No, no, it was funny. I, I told her that no bad guys weren't going to come take mommy and daddy, but she goes on and is like, Daddy said we always have to be prepared for the bad guys. And I asked who the bad guys were, and she goes, get this, the FBI. <laughs> that's, that's funny. <laughs> I told you this was a bad idea. This is the third one this year. Stop it. Just ignore her. Bella can be so silly sometimes. If you ask me, she watches a little too much television. So tell me, uh, was that the only thing you found... silly? Um, well, not exactly. There was actually an incident with Bruno Jr. Here we go. Enough, Carmen. Go on, Lena. Well, we were just playing around after dinner and BJ got a little too excited after a disagreement with Bella um, and he did hit her. And when I told him to apologize, he looked at me and said, God forgives, I don't. <laughs> Where could he have heard something like that? Bruno, I think that's enough. Carmen, could you just... That's not so weird, right? Th that's not so bad. I'll, I'll talk to them. Tell them that that's no way to behave. Actually... Oh God, what now? Shh. What is it? Uh, after the stuff I told you? I mean, I figured the kids were upset or something, so I offered them some ice cream to cheer them up, you know? But when I said I'd go get the ice cream, they both yelled, no! And I asked why, and Bella, Bella said, mommy and daddy said not to open the freezer, cause there's a head in there. 
I told you to take that head out of the freezer. Did I not say that exactly? Oh, so this is my fault then. I can't keep up with every single little thing you ask me. Oh, Bruno, go kill that guy for us. Oh, Bruno, go meet those guys at the dry cleaner so they'll continue to launder money for us. Oh, oh, Bruno, go take the head out of the freezer before the nanny gets here. Oh, Bruno, this, Bruno, that, I can only take so much. Oh, baby, you're so right. You're so right. I'm so, so sorry that, that I want you to succeed, that, that maybe I want more for this family, that I believe that... One day you could move up after all these years from being a capo, and that I think Underboss is just within reach for you. Oh, I'm so, so sorry and too inconvenient to Bruno. Wait, Carmen, you think I can be Underboss? That's only one away from running the whole operation. And what about my brother? Don't you think he'd get it before me? Bruno, baby, I believe in you. <laughs> and Lorenzo is an idiot. Carmen, that means more to me than I can ever say. No, oh, I love you, Cori Mio. I love you too, my polpetto. Now, let's chloroform the nanny before the kids wake up. Oh no, let me do it. You've done so much already. Wait, where'd she go? Damn it. I'll go. You get a license plate? Yeah, I'll airdrop you the photo. Thanks, baby. See you in bed? Mm.
good news. We've reached an agreement with the Rat King. They have their part of the subway, we have ours. This shouldn't affect your commute too much. It is now safe to close this video.